if Black Lives Mattered, then you would feel inclined to be educated on how to do black hair. It's sentiments like Naika Toussaint's that inspired the textured workshops. We have three models that we're going to work on. Alicia Chowin and her team travel across Metro Vancouver, teaching stylists how to work with Afro-textured hair. From natural hair to braidings, wigs. Chowin started the workshops in 2019, shortly after realizing she was one of few able to style black women's hair while working on film and TV sets. I noticed that there was a lack of knowledge when it came to working with black hair. She says initial attempts to work with Vancouver hair schools to diversify the teachings were unsuccessful. I didn't hear anything back. And then, as we all know, Black Lives Matter happened. And as soon as that happened, the workshops took off. That's when salon owner Leanne Cordero hired the team to work with her staff in Surrey. As an industry, I don't think we're realizing how much we're adding to racism by not having this education. Um, I think it started back when we went to school. When it wasn't even taught to us, we were blinded. The team also hosts workshops for those in the film and TV industry, where Naika Toussaint has experienced firsthand the impact of a lack of diverse hair knowledge. I've had a stylist be like, I don't know how to work on it, and get frustrated and actually walk out. And like, I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to have to do this on my own. In Vancouver, Emmy Belay opened Afro Hair Studio in 1999. When we open, anybody won't even see, like, in the street, too many black people, right? Since then, she says the community and her business have grown. Still, she meets trained stylists who apply for a job without any basic knowledge of textured hair. They don't have any, like, a base or a background, like, what they don't, they didn't learn anything. Kim Sawyer is a mother of two daughters with Afro hair. She drove one hour and a half from Squamish to get her daughter's hair done here in Vancouver. It's hard to find a salon that knows about Afro hair. I'm surprised it's not part of basic curriculum. Well, when we're talking about type 4 super curly hair. Back at the workshop, Michelle St. Hill says the response to the training has at times been emotional. We've had tears, we've had stylists who said they never knew, they had no idea, but they realized something was lacking because a client came into the salon, they didn't know that the client was black, client sits in the chair for an appointment and all of a sudden it's like they've frozen in panic. Bookings for the textured workshops have slowed down in recent months as pandemic restrictions increased. But the work continues beyond the sessions to let every black woman know her hair matters. That's really what the workshop is about, is helping our ladies to also respect themselves when it comes to their hair, to acknowledge this is the way it grows out of my hair naturally, and I'm not apologizing for it. Isabel Regam, CBC News, Vancouver.